Time for Global News Now. Five Somali pirates accused of hijacking a freighter have arrived in South Korea for questioning. The men were arrested as commandos raided the freighter earlier this month, a week after the pirates are accused of seizing the freighter and its 21 crew members. The commandos rescued all the crew and killed eight of the pirates. Under South Korean law, the Somalis could spend the rest of their lives behind bars if convicted. Cyclone Anthony made landfall today in Australia, but Queensland escaped major damage. The storm uprooted trees and knocked down power lines in some areas, but spared communities any major damage. Heavy rains that began in November have caused massive flooding across Australia, killing 35 people and damaging or destroying 30,000 homes and businesses. In southern Japan, officials are urging hundreds of people to move to safer ground as a volcano continues to spew ash and smoke. The Shinmadaki volcano erupted last week for the first time in 52 years. It is sending a blanket of ash over a wide area. Preparations are underway as the Chinese get set to welcome their Lunar New Year. It rolls in at midnight on February 2nd. And this large decoration of a rabbit is already in place in Beijing. The rabbit is the fourth sign of the Chinese zodiac and is closely linked to the moon. It symbolizes good fortune, and that's exactly what many of the Chinese are hoping for. That's your Global News Now.